हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आय एम डॉक्टर सिद्धेश्वर बी तुजापुर असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकैनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग वॉलचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर सो इन दिस सेशन आय एम गोईंग टू डील विथ सील्स अँड पॅकिंग्स इन हायड्रॉलिक सिस्टीम्स द लर्निंग आउटकम ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू सिलेक्ट प्रॉपर टाईप ऑफ सील फॉर हायड्रॉलिक सिस्टीम the contents are firstly we will have introduction to leakage and types of leakage importance of seals and packings types of seals functions of seals and packings forms of seals and packings and lastly the references let us first have the introduction to the leakage leakage is generally a common occurrence in any hydraulic system so we are having the oil there in the hydraulic system as a medium of power transmission and the different uh, components we are having say which are assembled so the different parts and uh, sub assemblies we are having and the leakage it is going to be there so that is there so due to leakage of oil so what happens that is so the reduction of quantity of oil it may happen so reduction of pressure of oil may take place and also reduction of efficiency of the system may be there so it is very difficult to design an absolutely leak proof system due to its nature means the zero means almost you can say that absolutely leak proof not a single drop of oil it is coming outside the say system so like that to design the system so it is very difficult seals and packings are used to reduce the leakage okay to some extent it will be there again this ensures functional reliability of the system now the types of leakage we are having one it is internal leakage and the second one it is external leakage the oil is within the system only that is means in this case oil leakage from one side of the piston to the another side you can think of so it is in the cylinder only but say it has changed its position from one side of the piston to the another side so that may happen so that will be called as internal leakage you can think of the piston diameter lesser than that of the inner diameter of the cylinder so in that case oil will be capable of moving from one place to the another place then the another place that is another side one side to another side of the piston then it is external leakage where the oil comes outside the system so in case of the joints say the cylinder and the end cover you can think of in that case the oil it is coming outside from that particular joint so that is called as external leakage so the importance of seals and packings is so a machine so a machine of lakhs of rupees may not work properly if a seal or packing of rupees 5 is damaged suppose okay that is seals and packings are uh, say they are having very less cost but still we, say if they are not available so we are not keeping in buffer in that case say the system of lakhs of rupees may be may not work properly and it will not give the desired output okay so now types of seals these are static and dynamic seals okay seals and packings may exist at static or dynamic portions of the system majority of the seals and packings are used at static mating parts so suppose that uh, cylinder and the end cover is there so there is no relative movement between the cylinder and the end cover so that is called as static mating parts these are and cylinder and piston if you are thinking of so in case of that one the dynamic uh, portions these are coming into picture so dynamic seals have extraneous requirements and severity increases with the increase in pressure this diagram you can observe where number of uh, different types of the seals we are having so see this is end cover and the cylinder so here we are having that static seal so on the right hand side also then the piston and cylinder you are having so this one it is a dynamic seal piston seal whatever it is called so it is called it is actually a dynamic seal and here say the bearings and then cylinder head cell uh, seal say relative motion it is occurring so seal is going to remain there 
and the piston rod it is coming outside so wiper leaf seal is also a dynamic seal so there also relative motion it is occurring say uh, in case of uh, the static you can observe here so the seal is remaining here the parts which are attached to that or these are touching to this particular seal they are remaining there only they are not having any motion so static and dynamic like that two types we are having in case of the seals so the functions of seals and packings they have to arrest both internal and external leakage of oil prevent dirt and dust and other foreign particles from entering the system so this is going to increase the working life and the functional reliability of the system types of sealing okay so types of seals we have seen now types of sealing one it is positive sealing and second one it is non positive sealing positive sealing prevents even a minute amount of oil going past non positive sealing may allow small amount of oil uh, internal leakage so it is between piston and cylinder like that and it is going to act as a lubricant where relative motion it is occurring okay so that one is there so internal sealing so it is it is uh, say uh, due to the difference in the pressure in either side so that uh, leakage it is occurring so we have to go for the internal sealing and the external sealing we have to go for because difference in the pressure in uh, say pressure of that system that is oil pressure and the environment say or the atmospheric pressure okay so these are say why we have to go for internal sealing and why we have to go for external sealing so this is due to the pressure difference only but that pressure difference when we are going for the internal sealing that is of oil in the inside the cylinder only and say uh, inside those uh, different sides of the same part and in case of the external it is with reference to the environment and that uh, oil pressure now think of whether metal can be used as a sealing material okay metal which is incompressible whether can be used for a sealing material as a sealing material the answer to this one it is yes even though it is incompressible so it is suitable for high temperature high pressure and extremely low temperature means certain conditions are there say where these seals are used so if high temperature is there or high pressure is there or extremely low temperature is there so metallic seals these are suitable okay so the other materials just now we will go through so it is it can be leather so generally these are compressible now so leather then asbestos to some extent the use of this one is lesser as it is not environment friendly then it is rubber other elastomers and plastics etc so these are the different materials which are used for the seals now as we have seen earlier the uh, say positions or the place of uh, these places of these seals and packings it is different so where they are sitting so considering the say that particular component and uh, the slots where these are to be fitted so the shapes of these or the forms of these seals and packings are there so one we are having as a cup form in that one also the sub types are standard flat bottom then thin walled then straight side then it is tapered lip okay. the second one we are having the form or a shape as a v so it is v v packing we are having so these are placed one above the another one you can see so we are having the others as say o ring we are going to have that as a circular ring of uh, circular cross section area then different other uh, types of the rings or the seals and packings these are shown here so these can be used at the different places wherever required wherever these are suited either at uh, static or at uh, dynamic uh, conditions etc so wherever uh, these types of uh, seals these are suitable so we are going to make use of these so the materials are also chosen appropriately that is with reference to the temperature at which these seals or packings are to be used or so the pressures at which these seals and packings are to be used 
selecting a proper type of the seal and uh, seal material and the form it is important to uh, to avoid the leakage and to have the improvement in the efficiency of, of the system okay. these are the references which are used for this particular session thank you